Get off my car. Okay, let's head to the fire stone bounty board. See what another mission I can get is. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. And a lot of them are actually tough, apparently. Oh, Circle of Death. That sounds appetizing. Um, That mission is the devil. Oh, man. I hate that mission. I had to be at level 16. Okay, I got level 15. I managed to kill one of them. I can't remember if it was Mo or Marley. And then I got level 16 when I got my... And I had a super awesome shotgun, which I immediately equipped and just pwned the last one. I think it was Marley that I killed first, because I think Mo... Yeah, you'll. I won't. Ex I won't spoil it. Anyways, I think I'm gonna do this scavenger sniper rifle mission. I'm not gonna accept Mo and Marley yet because I don't want him to. Sh don't want them to show up. But I personally, I when I did my last play, my first playthrough of this game, Mo and Marley was probably the mission I had the most difficulty with out of all of them in this game. But anyways, uh mission I just accepted is uh, meant for the Arid Hills, the area we just unlocked in the last little area which I just showed you. So we head over here. That's kind of cool. Uh, just so you know, that's another uh, place to build cars. Let's go over here and you can build them. You can actually build two cars. It's designed for a uh, four player. So you can have two, gu two drivers, two gunners. Okay, so now we are in the Arid Hills. Is there anything behind here? Never actually looked before. I see nothing. Is there anything up here? Aw. I fail at scavengering. Oh wait, is there something up there? I don't know. Let's find out. Ooh, there's some ammo, ammo boxes. And a repeater, apparently. Uh, apparently my ammo is full with that weapon. Apparently I'm full, so and there's stores right here, so I'm gonna go sell my stuff. So just a sec. Okay, so before I sold everything, I equipped a new shield, which has a health boost of 40. So my maximum health has been increased by 40 percent. And I equipped, where it, I equipped these incendiary rubberized grenades. They got more damage and they burn stuff. Also, if you'll take a note, the next set of upgrades in ammo sizes are actually here. So I might actually... Yeah, I think I'm going to buy the shotgun, the combat rifle, sniper rifle I cannot afford yet, but after I sell off some more stuff, I should be able to. Ooh, I didn't actually get a lot of money from those. Can I... I can buy one. Um... Yeah, I'm going to buy the sniper. There. So I upgraded the ammo slots on my main weapons. Which is all that matters to me right now. Oh, that's pistol ammo, apparently. Yay, I found some sort of weapon. Terrible scattergun. That has a lot of damage. I'll probably be switching that as soon as I can equip it at next, uh, my next level up. Anyways, down here there's going to be some skags. Uh, this area will introduce you to some new skags. Uh, oh, do they see me or something? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Say hi. Oh man, I missed. Uh -oh. I saw you. Okay, shotgun. TK wave. Whoa, these guys are dangerous. And I'm going to take advantage of my new healing ability. Next. 
So that's how you can effectively use your skills. Whoa. Hello. Oh, shotgun proficiency is raised. Not bad, although I'd lost a lot of health. I'm going to use this just to gain back my health. And then I can let it recharge. This basically saves me from ever having to buy a traveling med kit. Which will save me some space and ammo, er, uh, money later. Uh, those things will explode. Be careful. And, uh, okay, we are gonna head up here. And hope we don't run into any badass skags. Those things are annoying as hell. work to gain health and then all of a sudden yeah oh well let's do another healing use of this well I'm gaining experience that's a plus I want to equip that new shotgun because this TK wave is really hard to use just because of the motion of the blasts. I always end up shooting a lot lower than I think I need to to actually hit it. Yeah, my radicals are usually a little below the target when I actually shoot this thing. If I want to actually hit it. Whew, man. I'm not even close to where the sniper rifle is there. The sniper, sniper rifle parts are. Oh boy, okay, um, oh, there's gonna be some bandits in this area, and I recommend you pull out your sniper rifle and take out the two that are up here first. Um, Kind of far away for your sniper rifle skills, but oh well. If I get a hard headshot, it'd be nice. Yes, feel it. Speak of the devil. Anyways, once you take out those two, you'll want to make sure you take a look over here, because there is a bandit raider and a midget with the sh with an axe. I'm gonna headshot the midget. Oh, come on! My reticle is right over him. I'm gonna back up here. Try to get another shot off on it. If I can get a good angle. Ooh, I can. Oh, crap, it saw me. Oh, and there's another one. Oh wait, that's a burning cycle. Those things can be quite annoying. If they catch fire, you want to get away from them. Because the burning... Uh, the fire is one of your worst enemies. They can kill you so fast in this game. Just fair warning to you. Like, That's why the Phoenix ability is quite devastating. I'm gonna throw my first incendiary grenade. And I'm gonna burn something. And I'm gonna throw my second one. Uh, the green numbers are corrosion. They're getting basically, it's poison. 
That's the easiest way to describe it. If I, uh, yeah. It's acid eating away at them. Eating away at their skin. Jerk. <laughs> 